I've got something serious to say to you. I've made a big decision. I've decided I'm going to make you farm manager. Really? Yep. I want you to run the farming side of it. You're fired. What? You're fired. You got fired. I'm the boss. I'm the farm manager. You're fired. I'm not fired. You are. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Diddley Squat Farm here in Chipping Norton, England, where, having seen the intro to the video, I have been contacted by Mr. Caleb Cooper to see if I will come along and lend some of my farming experience to the farm. Because, you know, in the last couple of years, Diddley Squat Farm has been struggling to make profit, okay? They've really been struggling. And I seem to be pretty good at taking farms and making them very, very profitable businesses. So we are here. We've been called and contacted. Obviously, I was looking for a new adventure following uh, Estancia Sao Carlos and leaving that map. And um, yeah, we've come. We've come here. We've come to the Cotswolds. We're here in Chipping Norton, like I say. We're here on Diddley Squat Farm, and um, yeah, it's all good. We've got a water tank around the back here. We've got a greenhouse. We can get some vegetables producing. Um, we've got an animal trailer over here. Looks like we've got a bit of an animal pen at the back here, but that's all stuff for us to figure out as we go along my main goal is to try and get things um working so first things first we are going to be trying a little bit of precision farming okay to try and help improve um diddly squat because i know jeremy is quite keen now on his um look preserving farms and and trying to do the best for the farms and the land and the, and the wilderness around the farms. So we're going to be doing a little bit of a look at precision farming. I'm trying to get our environmental score a little bit better here on the farm during this, this little playthrough. Um, we do own quite a bit of land and a few fields. My first port of call, I believe, is up here. This is where we've got to go to start with. We've got um, potatoes and sugar beets that need to be harvested. And then obviously we've got a few other crops. We've got a lot of grass and stuff and animals and things. So there's also a lot of trees and stuff on this far map. Um, but yeah, we're going to go and have a look. There's also a big field there with a crop on it as well. Some barley that needs to be harvested. Um, we've got wheat down here. Um, it's all systems go so that's our kind of like first tasks then really is getting on with the potatoes and the sugar beets now it looks like i've got some equipment it's not the best equipment in the world doing um potatoes and stuff uh, i think i want that header don't i yeah, that Grimmy FT300 should be. No, the KS754. I'm glad I checked that. So it's that header with that harvester there. Then, right, we need a tractor. So, uh, Caleb's left me a lovely class harvester over here. So, we can take that one. can go and pick up the hair now one of the things i did discuss with caleb when i came on the farm um before i accepted this job to come and work here um was like how much rain have i got you know how much freedom do i have to make important changes um for example equipment I know you've got your uh, got equipment currently. With all oh, there appears to be some equipment and that here currently. Um, let me 
make sure we're taking the right thing here. No, that's for sugar beets, that is. Again, messing up already. We want the roper. Mm. Right. That's what we want, then. We want this boy from back here. I said I'd probably wait until after we've done the first batch of harvesting. But the chances are, I said I want a bit of freedom to be able to make what equipment changes to the farm I need. And, you know, I just want complete trust and faith from you that I'm going to get the job done and get this farm making money. And Caleb seemed quite happy with that. So, that's what's going to happen. Now, I'm going to give each bit of equipment, you know, a test and a try out. But, I feel like... Um, if it's not up to up to up to scratch, um, we will replace it. I will replace it. I'm not afraid to spend a bit of money to make more money. If it means we can do jobs better. So that's what we've got. We've also got a couple of other little mods installed: conservative agriculture. Um, there's a new cultivator mod that we've got, which allows you to change. Um, cultivate depths on the fly uh, for different types of cultivating so you can switch between deep shallow subsoiling without having to keep having, having three or four different cultivators um, so that's going to be an interesting mod to try out and get to experience but we are heading north we're going up to diddly Sh squat farm shop um, well, hopefully Lisa will be hard at work in the shop. I don't know where Jeremy is. Um, he's probably off filming who wants to be a millionaire or another grand tour special or something. Obviously Caleb's fired him, so you probably won't see him on the farm much. Maybe that's for the best. <laughs> or he's maybe off working the unfarmable. Farming the unfarmable, as it was in season three. Or maybe he's tending to the pigs or something. But yeah, we're coming up here. Seems to be some visitors here at the shop already. Is one thing. Now potatoes now this machine is not the most ideal machine in the world to be doing potatoes with I will tell you that now right we've got to detop the field first And then we've got to harvest the potatoes. Now it's only going to harvest potatoes on the right hand side of the tractor. Okay. So that's the first thing we've got to do. Is take care. Of course, we've only got this one single day here in August. Um, but then hopefully September comes along. We have a few more days ahead of us. What I want to do. Tell you what, Jeremy, you didn't. Those uh, 
flower pots are a little bit awkward. Excuse me. Cracked attorney. I was at when we need to worry about doing potatoes out. Okay. This is not going to be easy. Whoa! Steady. Forgot there's a hill there. Right, lower. Which to the back one. Now we should this time get some potatoes. Yes, we're digging. Like I say, not really done use this machine to do potatoes. It's not my preferred method of potato harvesting, I have to say. I know Jeremy and Caleb have been using it for doing theirs, but I think there's better ways. Got a wall in front of us, so we just have to be mindful of that. at the corner. Drive along the bottom now. Try and follow the shape of the field. Now we've opened up that corner over there a bit. Come on, machine, you can do it.
looks like it's trying to get some potatoes. But yeah, the first two harvests then are potatoes and sugar beets. And hopefully we can get rid of those crops fairly quickly. And try our best to bring a bit of normalcy. Not a lot of room to turn round, is there? That's why we're uh, using a bit of the car park. Sorry, Lisa, I know you don't like us operating in here, but it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Again, this field dorm. Perhaps you should have, should have started on the sugar beets first. That might have been easier. slows down a lot.
going. We are definitely going. I wanted to try and go through that gate. That's what I wanted to do. Straighten up and then reverse this. And then I can get back onto my potatoes. But yeah, this machine is awkward as flip to use. So that probably will be one of the first bits of equipment that I uh, decide to maybe look to change for uh, Jeremy and Caleb make potato harvesting and sugar beet harvesting a lot easier going forwards. And we're back to go slow again. I think this tractor's lacking a little bit power up the hill. <laughs> Seems like it's happy to, to go down the hill harvesting, but it's not so happy coming back up, is it?
can get this. Come on. I think it's quicker if I just could come from the top of the field down rather than try driving back up that far side. I think that's my plan, just keep driving down the field. There, I know I've got. the room Forty-two percent full, doing well. First harvest is going good. I mean, obviously there's still quite a bit of potatoes to take care of, but I think we can manage this. what we can do, potatoes by the way, we can just sell them straight into the farm shop, <laughs> which is one good way to get rid of them. Saves us dragging them miles, but yes bit of a weird harvest this
Right then, I think what we'll do, we'll carry on. I'll carry on getting the potatoes harvested. And then I'll come back when the field is finished, okay? And then you can see exactly how many potatoes we've got, what we're selling, and then we'll have to go and get on. Get the equipment took back to the farm, grab the sugar beet lot, and be back out here to do the sugar beet field next to us. Right, ladies and gents, the field is finished. Uh, just need to sell the potatoes. And then we can head back to the farm. Swap the gear and come back and do sugar beets. I need to fold that in. And off we go. Right, back to the farm. And we can come get the sugar beets done then. Took me a while, but we got there in the end, didn't we? We got there in the end. And all the cars. Back to the farm. So yeah, I wasn't massively a big fan of this harvester. I think we need a proper harvest next time if we're going to be dealing with that sort of stuff. We only made 3,896 bucks as well from the potatoes that we harvested, so we're not going to get massively rich, I'm afraid, boys. I don't think sugar beets are going to do all that great either. But hey, it's first year. First day on the farm, first month. There's a lot to put right here for Caleb and Jeremy. And that's why I am here. After all. So what we might do is sell the equipment. <laughs> but yeah, we've got some grass fields, which would be nice. Get in there with a mower. Get the harvesting done. Get the grass mowed. Get it baled up. into the yard we go. Right. I'm going to park this equipment now quite far away. This is going to be my um, equipment to be got rid of corner. <laughs> this is all the equipment we're going to get rid of after we've used it. Okay. Because it's a nightmare. Then what we're going to do is sugar beets.
Now, sugar beets cannot be sold at the um, farm shop. So we are going to need a trailer for those. So we will get on, we will need to get the Lambo to bring the trailer to the farm for us, which is part just there. But that, ladies and gents, will take place in the next episode, because we've run out of time for this one. So, I just wanted to give you a brief introduction as to what's going to be happening here on Diddly Squat Farm. And, um, yeah, this will be the new map for us to play on for the foreseeable future. So, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves, ladies and gents, and uh, goodbye.